Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas Football, back here at the Star Ford Center in Frisco, here with the head coach of the La Vega Pirates, Coach Don Hyde, after a hard-fought 38-20 win over uh, Paris Wildcats to advance to the regional final. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you very much. And uh, I'd just like to say uh, Paris is one heck of a football team. You know, it was a we knew it was going to be a difficult. We knew it was going to be a difficult game. They were they were physical and athletic, and uh, and uh, they're a heck of a ball club. Very well coached. Yeah, I was going to say this game is one of the most physical games I've seen all year. It, it was really physical from the beginning. I know we talked pregame, and you, you kind of expected that ball game because Paris is a little bit of a mirror image of you guys. Uh, but what did you guys do defensively to really neutralize them for for the most part in the first three quarters? It looked like your defensive line, especially, really controlled things. They played well. You know, the first touchdown they had, our safety blew up, blew an alignment. You know. It, it, we had, we had a check to some tackle over stuff, and he blew an alignment, and, uh, you know, they, they hit us for a big play. And, you know, you, sometimes that happens in the first first series of the game. You know, we got it controlled. And, you know, I just told our kids at halftime, the team that's the, that has the most mental toughness is going to win this football game. And uh, we preach that in all season. We preach that in football practice. And, uh, and I thought our kids did a great job of coming out and representing what we preach every day. Uh, you, you, know, you mentioned uh, defensive lines had some injuries throughout the year, and you're finally back fully healthy. How nice was it to see your defense uh, kind of at full strength for the first time in a while? Well, you know, it, it was real nice, you know. And, uh, you know, they, they do some things that gives us trouble. You know, they want to get in there tight and bunch it up in there. And we're used to playing spread teams all year and with, 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 keep, with people on the field who like to defend spread stuff. And so it's a challenge any time we face a team like that, that that bunches it up in there and very physical. And so I thought our defensive line did a remarkable job all night. You know, they got us in a couple of formations that we ain't seen that, they, that we had to make some adjustments to. But I, I thought our kids, for the most part, did a great job adjusting and, and playing football well in the second half. Offense in the second half got it going. Your offensive line kind of started to get going there and, and really wore Paris down. I know uh, John's a, a special player, and, and he's one of many weapons that you guys have, but he's, he seems like he's been around forever. What, what makes John Richards such a special guy for your offense? He, he's, he's hard to tackle. You know, he's tough. He's got good vision. You know, he, he's going to do the dirty things. He's going to stick it in there for four, and he's going to break a tackle next time go for 20. And, but uh, he's trying to get four or five a whack. He understands the scheme, and he, and he understands where the, where the seam's going to be, and he does a great job of finding it. All right, your quarterback era, I mean, he's a young guy. I know you played 7-on-7 seven seven this summer to try to get some extra reps. Uh, he looks like he's really matured. Talk about the growth that you've seen from uh, your quarterback era, Rawls, throughout the season. He's done a fabulous job of doing what we've asked him to do, which is manage the football game, take care of the football, make sure make sure the ball's in our hands and not someone else's hands. And he's just done a remarkable job with that and, and, and a great leader. Not only that, he's a great student and he's a great, great, great individual. All right, I guess uh, a scouting trip's in order tomorrow to Denton to watch uh, Argyle and Salina. And never, I guess it's always good to be working still this time of year, right? Uh, no doubt. That was the plan all along. You know, we'll, we'll go pick up some rental cars tomorrow morning and, and hit the road tomorrow afternoon. If you need, need, need suggestions on places to eat, we got you at Dave Campbell's Texas Football. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for what you do for Texas High School football. Great job. Congrats. Thank you.